Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Harrington with Locum Leaders. I'm the Chief Medical Officer and a Practicing Hospitalist. We've created a critical care training program for hospitalists that's a two-day intensive seminar on all of the things that non-intensivists need to do to take care of critically ill patients. What you really need to pay, uh, pay attention to is the uh, tissue, the structures moving. So I'm really looking at the screen and watching the tissues move. Our critical care training program has uh, a twofold purpose. Um, from the hospital side, it allows us to put people in their critical care units that have a skill set that matches their needs. Once you're past the incisors, start looking down and looking at your, pulling your tongue up and marching down the base of the tongue until you find the From the hospitalist perspective, we are making people more marketable and increasing their skills uh, in the intensive care unit making them more effective at the bedside for quality patient care, which is what we're all about. I push in the air in, but as soon as it's done pushing the air in, it'll, it'll empty itself right Our out. procedural training takes place in a state-of-the-art simulator lab that is as modern as any I've ever seen. It uh, allows our hospitals to have hands-on experience with procedures like intubations using the GlideScope, ultrasound-guided central line placement, and other procedures that will be necessary in the critical care unit. Topics for the didactic portion of the class include ventilator management, electrolyte imbalances, serious life-threatening infections, and other topics germane to critical care medicine. Our hospitalists earn about 20 hours of continuing medical education credit for this two-day seminar. If you're a hospitalist who's interested in our critical care training program, please contact your locum leaders recruiter.